Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Common Rider Wiz War Unboxing! Not sure whether to do this for the 2000 subscribers special. Perhaps I'll just do this entire belt as a subscribers, uh, 2000 subscribers special. With the unboxing, uh, demonstration, and probably a review of it. So I won't talk too much about it. And the belt is the Common Rider Double Belt. The Super Best Henshin Belt. And uh, as it says right there, super best. It's the super best version because it comes with all six memories. Unlike the uh, regular one you get, you would not get metal and trigger, which you could only get with the toys, and they work with the toys. Uh, metal for the for the stick, baton, whatever, and trigger for uh, the gun, which uh, it actually works better in the gun because it doesn't work so well with the belt along with the other things. But you know what? Let's take a look at the box really quickly. So, super being super best comes with all six memories. There's the belt right there. With a cool gimmick of uh, being being a W, and uh, jo and Cyclone Joker double right there. On the side, there's also Cyclone Joker double there with the belt and such. On the bottom here, all the memory sticks, which is pretty cool. Some more uh, Cyclone Joker along with the other ones, Lunar Trigger, Heat Metal, and on the top you got the different forms he could take and different combinations you can do, which is really really neat. And the flap, of course, to show that it's DX and that it's shiny here. It looks real prestigious. And on the back here, you got all the instructions of uh, how you're supposed to use the belt. Slide your little, slide your little memory sticks in there. Flick it open to form a W, and then hinge it and transform into double. Or you could also put, uh, or you could also put and switch out the other memories and become all the other ones. And the neat thing, like I said, you can mix and match with it. I like the little format they had here. Have here with the left, actually no, the right and the left sticks, you could make it become Cyclone Joker or like whatever and do all that type of combination. That's really, really cool. And then you got this little thing that does the finisher moves for the Kamen Rider, um, the usual Kamen Rider kick with its, with its gimmick. And gotta say, pretty neat. So, let's open this up. And here's what the packaging looks like. Hmm, it is indeed most compact, I must say. There's the, there's the belt, there's the device, there's the little, there's the finisher box. So let's grab all that stuff out. Quite obviously the memory chips are right there. And these are the ones that are actually the battery powered one. This one is not battery powered, so that's kind of interesting and such. There's the Cyclone Luna. Heat, Metal, Toriga, got a, man, the Japanese like pronunciation where it's like a, well clearly it's Trigger, but it's, but it's like Toriga, kind of dumb, but, uh, the inch, and a Joker, now an interesting thing, oh yeah, there's the box too, the interesting thing is, around this point, you could have bought the Korean version of uh, the common Rider stuff, and they'd be much, much cheaper. It's just that the text would be in Korean, uh, but you know they would be a lot more cost effective. Now, when they got to double the the sound effects changed because before they would have kept all the sound effects the same as the Japanese one, but when it came to common Rider double, they uh, they dubbed over it, and so now it's like uh, there. If you bought the Korean version of a uh, common Rider double the sound effects would actually be slightly different as uh, as in the voice of the announcer is not the same. So I'm gonna lay it all out while laying some knowledge on you on you all. As you can see there's a little strap here to stop the stop the uh, batteries from being used. I will pull those out in a moment after I get everything else everything else set up. Hmm, I wanna I'm gonna keep this on, but this looks dumb. I usually keep most of the packaging uh, stuck on, but this one is probably the dumbest looking one to keep on. Yep, opens up. Pretty damn cool. No electronics whatsoever. Guess we'll just have to take it off because it looks really dumb with it on. I don't know. I can just keep, I can just keep it on. Let's keep it on. Yeah, it looks a little less stupid like that. I like keeping out keeping those stuff on just to make it look clean. Here's a little thing. How do I? Oh, of 
cool. The finisher stuff that you clip onto the belt. The belts and stuff will bother with that some other time. The little buckle at the end of it. Hmm. Nothing too special with it. Alright, so let's play with some memories. Let's start with the Joker and stuff. Gonna keep this little stick for so I can save the batteries. Joker! As you can see, there's a little light at the end. Pretty cool, I must say. Nothing. I like, I like the little lights that uh, it shows out, that it shoots out. So, how it works is that when you put it into the drive. Oh, by the way, if you notice that this one has a silver and this one has a gold, that's how you tell which one you put it in. So how it works is that uh, when you hold the or when the device holds it, that's when it makes a sound. So I'm gonna show that off first. Clearly, there were other buttons. Be oh, wait. There's these little things. These little parts that it pushes in to know what to do. So I could technically do it, so let's try it. There we go. Oh, and they use the sound, reuse the sound effects from their uh, library of Common Rider stuff. Okay, doesn't look as cool when I do it with my hand, so let's put it in. Oh, do not want to drop. All right, get ready. Clearly they work together. The sound effect always starts with the silver and then the gold, so it all matches up. Yeah, that's essentially it. And then you t would have taken this buckle to do one of the attacks. One drive. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. All right, to conserve battery, put these back in. I mean, so let's play with the other sticks. The lights here are not as strong as the Cyclone Joker. Yeah, the mix and match potentials are pretty fun. All right. As you can tell, the speakers are all right here, so the sound is very, very clear. Now for those curious in what happens if you put it the wrong way, I'll show it. For, for one, the text is all wrong.
And then the letters don't line up like straight on, so. Put these back. You know, the back of the metal one looks like uh, those see-through Game Boy stuff. I think this one hmm, looks the weakest out of them all. All right, now for Lunar Trigger. That blue light is pretty damn strong. Alright, now to use the maximum drive. This one I know does nothing if it's not the, with the gun. Yeah, that's it. You, you have to have the gun to do the actual maximum drive for it. So, what do I think of the uh, Kamen Rider Doubles Belt? Pretty cool! And I'm pretty excited to uh, start using it for costumes and whatnot, and um, play around with the different combinations for it, so... Definitely a belt that uh, is pretty neat to get. I got it at a pretty good price, considering uh, if you look online on eBay, it goes for... A, a bizarre amount in that and that if it wasn't for the deal I found for it um, I really would not have picked it but I've always been uh, been uh, wanting one because you know I thought it was a pretty interesting interesting gimmick that they had going on and I thought it was pretty neat plus uh, dressing up in costume as it as uh, oh in a civilian form anyways so uh, yeah that's the that's the uh, Coven Riders Super Best Henshin Belt DX of Cobbin Rider Double. So stay tuned for more for when uh, I demonstrate all the stuff you can do with it. So, see ya!